to Jurassic Park. Oh my god, it's Jurassic Park 6, you bastards. <laughs> Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to look at Jurassic World 3, Jurassic World Dominion. Because I haven't heard anything recently about the movie, I'm going to give you all an update on release dates and who's actually in the movie, if anybody's actually interested. I love the first three Jurassic Park movies. I liked Jurassic World. I didn't like Jurassic, whatever it was called. Uh, when they brought the creatures into the... No, I just didn't like it. What was it called? Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So, if that's anything to go by, I think this one is going to be a stinker. That is one big pile of shit. Anyway, found this article. Jurassic World 3 is set to be one of 2022's biggest blockbusters when it lands in cinemas in June. Barring an unexpected delay, of course. The threequel, officially known as Jurassic World Dominion, is finished ahead of its 2022 release. We've already started to get some new looks at the movie that show Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire in trouble and Chris Pratt's Owen being chased by a dangerous new raptor. So another, another, another new, new dinosaur. There's also a debut for DeWanda Wise's mysterious character and you can see DeWanda Wise's character in that photograph alongside Chris Pratt. She doesn't look that mysterious. I think she's just a character in a movie. There's plenty for fans to get excited about, so without further ado, here's everything you need to know about Jurassic World Dominion. So when is Jurassic World Dominion out in cinemas? Well, it will arrive in cinemas on June the 10th, 2022. As mentioned above, the writer and director Colin Trevorrow has confirmed that the threequel is completed ahead of its cinema release. Is that opposed to being completed after its cinema release. So we just have to cross our fingers and hope it's not hit with another delay. Or a giant asteroid from space. A poster, ladies and gentlemen. A poster with some names on. Right, so if you're excited for this movie, I'm guessing that you want to know who's going to be in it. Obviously, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Hollard are going to return. So what is Pratt doing? After the dinosaurs escaped into the real world at the end of Fallen Kingdom, Trevorrow has revealed that Owen is still trying to help them. How is he helping them? Has he set up soup kitchens and therapy rooms for them? I don't understand. They're on the loose in the earth. <laughs> The Parasaurs are in danger of being poached. But, like, how can they be in danger of being poached when they are running around in public? They haven't got time to be poached because the army would be stopping them in the tracks. You can't have dinosaurs running around in public. <sighs> it sounds awful already. Uh, Claire, there's <sighs> nothing. Trevorrow is remaining tight-lipped about where we find her. Okay, I don't care. Of course, Pratt and Howard aren't the only stars coming back for the third movie, and we'll get to the real big ones in a bit. But first up is... Oh, God. Isabella Sermon is returning as Maisie Lockwood, the genetically enhanced, genetically created mutant offspring of John Hammond, his former partner, Sir Benjamin Lockwood. Yeah, the little girl that let all the fucking dinosaurs loose because she was one of them. Oh, I let you free because I'm a mutant too and we're all the same, so I let you out into the real world to kill everyone, idiot. It's also been reported that Justice Smith... Oh. <laughs> Screamy boy. Screamy Boy and Daniela Pineda. First, I wanted to apologize to the fans. Cowboy Norbop will be back as Franklin Webb and Zia Rodriguez. I can't wait. Oh, what an experience. We've also got Omar Sy as Velociraptor Trainer. A Velociraptor Trainer. You're going to train a Velocir fucking giant lizard and you're going to train it. Barry Sembean or Sembene, whatever. I don't know. Okay. This is what I wanted to see. And I don't think it's going to happen. We had expected to see Jake Johnson to return as Lowry. Lowry! After he missed out in the sequel. Well, you didn't miss, miss, well, you didn't miss much, mate. The star revealed in August 2021 that scheduling conflicts prevented him from reprising the role. What have I told you about scheduling? Eh, Johnson? That's what you get. That's what you get! That's what you get for scheduling. We will also see BD Wong back as the morally dubious, massive cut Dr. Henry Wu. So hopefully he'll finally get his comeuppance. He'll probably hopefully get eaten because he's awful. But he won't be the only Jurassic Park star returning for the trilogy finale. There you go, the trilogy, the OJ trilogy, the one that we've all been waiting for, you know. 
the trilogy, the trio that we, we all really wanted to see on screen. Yeah, that one. Yeah, Chi is Jurassic Park. Chris Pratt previously teased that everyone would be returning, but there's still no official word on reprisals from other people, Vince Vaughn and Julianne Moore, etc. As for the film's villain, there's a returning classic character who could be fulfilling that role. Campbell Scott, a.k.a. Dodgson. We've got Dodgson here! A.k.a. the dodgy man in shades who handed Dennis Nedry that fake can of shaven cream to store dinosaur eggs in. Dodgson was a bit of an unresolved plot point in the first movie, so we're glad he'll be coming back. Let's hope he brings his black market super spy shenanigans back, maybe with an empty Kinder Surprise packet to hide a dinosaur egg in. Oh, shut up, man. Sorry. <laughs> I don't really care. See, nobody cares. Okay, just to wrap this up, we don't yet know too much about what the threequel will be about, but Trevorrow has revealed that unlike the previous movies, the movie will take place outside of the US. The dinosaurs have been multiplying and living amongst us. Dominion is set all over the world through many different environments, wilderness, urban, desert and snow. Alright, maybe I am a little bit interested, so we shall see. We shall see in June. That's all I'm going to do for this. I just really wanted to cover who was in it and when it was out. Because, like I said, I'm not massively interested in this movie, to be fair. But if it's going to be set all over the world, like what it said, that has piqued my interest slightly. So maybe I will give it a shot. I like Colin Trevorrow. I think he's an okay guy. Let me know what you think anyway in the comments down below. As always, please leave a like. A subscription would be nice. And just let me know what you think in the comments. That's all from me today. Look forward to the next video. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye now.